Hello everybody, it's Gwen with CraftyLadyDesigns.com. Thank you for joining me today. I have completed another junk journal that I wanted to flip through and show you. This uh, will also be available on my consignment shop, uh, CapturedOnPaper.com. I have several on there. Uh, this is new. I started making this journal to do, and I've been watching a lot of YouTube, to make the leather looked uh, cover. This is a 9 by 12 clasp envelope. And I stained it with walnut stain and finished photo and whatever. And then I sealed it with um, a, a sealant and a, a gloss finish sealant. And then I put a dress pattern. I don't know if you can see. Uh, but you can see the black lines of oh excuse me of a dress pattern. I uh, then uh, covered that again and sprayed it with various colors of uh, of uh, distress sprays with walnut vintage photo. I did a little Lindy Stamp Ganks with a little uh, dark dark coral color and uh, then dry and I kept drawing it in between each layer. And uh, then when I completed it and got the color that I wanted, and when I put the when I put the pattern paper on, I kind of squashed it up as well to give it some texture, and you can see the texture. And then I sealed it with a gloss um, Mod Podge. Um, I secured it with a uh, dyed seam binding uh, with uh, oh I think it was. Uh, vintage photo with the Lindy Stamp Gang in various colors. I uh, put a, uh, I know it's hard to see, it's dark. I put this Journey uh, plaque on the front of it and, and glued it. And that's all that, that I did because I like I like the look of the finish. And it is a soft cover, but it just, there's over a hundred pages of coffee dyed paper. And um, then there's various embellishments. The back is plain. Uh, I did make uh, some charms here. These are some large beads. I made this. It's hard to see. I made this with some big beads that I got there. They got a, some crystals. Uh, there's a butterfly, a pair of scissors, some pearls, and then some other uh, gems. It's hard to see. My lighting isn't real good in its evening here. And I apologize. Really, really cute, and I attached it with a Tim Holtz uh, attachment with a grommet through. So let's go inside. Uh, it is a chunky monkey, as they say. But oh, I really, I just, I just really like making the junk journals. Uh, when you, and as I say, it is chunky. There's over a hundred pages, just the pages alone, uh, and then embellished. Uh, this is the inside cover, and I uh, started out by laying down a piece of old book, and this is in French, uh, so I have no idea what it says, and if you can read French, <laughs> more power to you, but I do like the French. And then I took a piece of card and with some lace and made a pocket. I made this flower out of... Uh, coffee dyed paper and I stamped it with a um, uh, an English uh, script uh, I mean a French script stamp with a button and a little black twine then this is just some uh, uh, from Tim Holtz card and then I stamped this tag now I coffee dyed these uh, coffee dyed stamped that with a music stamp I coffee dyed these tags Stamped a little. I did a lot of stamping in there and, and some um, oh, uh, templates. And then, of course, there's uh, coffee dyed seam binding. And this is, this is where the story begins. I love that. This is the first page. Uh, this page is a legal size page. And when we get to the other side of it, I'll show you. Because I, I took the link. I put it in here on purpose. Took the link, folded it over to make a tech spot. Uh, here and this died it just died beautifully I'm going to try to prop this up 
there. So it'll be easier for you to see. You need a handle, maybe. Uh, this, I just added this. Uh, I made this uh, fold out, dry fold uh, writing and whatever. Now I'm, I messed up on this one because I wanted to do three sides and then make a pocket in the back. Well, I forgot and put glue on all four sides. But that's okay. You can still open and journal on that as well. Uh, this is a napkin and I I have a real hard time getting these as text files. Besides, I think they're just pretty. So I did attach it. Uh, and this is calligraphy paper or parchment paper. This is a stamp that I made from corrugated cardboard for writing. And then I stamped a couple little medallions on it. A lot of blank paper in this as well. Uh, here is now this is <laughs> this is the, this is uh, parchment paper uh, for baking, and this is what I put on my trays when I'm baking my uh, coffee dyed paper. Well, it in turn becomes crispy, and it uh, you know picks up the coffee as well. Uh, and I just made a pocket out of it. I cut the sheet in half and folded it up and put a little stamp on it. And then I just used staples to staple it to make a pocket. This is just some uh, ephemera that I had and I cut. And I, I usually always put my little pictures and ephemera tags like this on chipboard, which I've done. And it just slides down in the pocket. This is just a, a cut apart, I mean a cut off. From when I cut down the paper and I just stamped so that you could uh, journal in this and it's just attached with a small uh, Tim Holtz paper clip. Uh, this is, now I bought this, oh here we go, I bought this uh, sack online on Etsy and I there again I, I don't know who I can't remember uh, who it was this is just a file card insert that I have copy dyed I've stained and I've also put a little bitty stamp it says friends and this other side just has a little crown and I put it down in the little sack uh, it's an advertisement type sack they're vintage and I love them uh, a bird and uh, some more uh, uh, templates uh, staining down here at the bottom and there's a lot of empty ones too now this one I didn't stick down because I got a new little snap he's a frog on a bicycle I didn't want to cover him up and this is on the calligraphy paper uh, we turn the page here, and then this is an envelope. This is a legal size. Well, no, it's bigger than a 10, number 10, but it's uh, um, brown paper, like a paper bags. This is also a, a cutoff. And then I stamped, I stamped on it. This says, follow your dream, and it just slides down in there. And on this side, now I bought this as well from uh, Etsy. Uh, there again, my little girl, I can't remember. This is stamped with my uh, corrugated stamp. My thing keeps sliding here to put it up for you. This is, uh, oh, I just got this cotton lace. Uh, it's just gorgeous, but it's cotton. And I think the cotton lace lends itself to this type of a book and the shab uh, the not the shabby chic, but the uh, vintage look. Then I stamped on top and stamped on bottom. And then I made a little book. This is a piece of, uh, I think it's six and a half by four uh, cardstock that I coffee dyed. And I made a little book. I stamped uh, stamped the bird on it. And then I stamped, here's the, here's the little frog. And on the inside, I've got two pages here. Well, i got four pages. Uh, and then I stamped it where you could journal on it. And then I left this one plain as well. Uh, and then I hand sewed it. It's hand sewn. And then it slips down in our belly band. I love that belly band.
and we go on. Uh, this is also, uh, ooh, what do I tear it? Uh, this is also parchment paper, baking paper, and I just cut it square. You can't glue anything on it. Trust me, I tried. I tried with the uh, uh, Fabri-Tac. I tried it with uh, hot glue and whatever. And that, of course, that's the point. Uh, you know, nothing sticks to it. This is uh, a cut, cut off again. And I did just do a little stamp on it. And, it's a journal, and then I attached it to the uh, parchment paper with a little... Uh, ooh, Another little template, the other side of the sack, and this has another little book in it. Now, this one is just plain. I don't have anything stamped, but it is hand-sewn, and I did stamp a little medallion on, on top. I tried to put I tried to put a, a tag or, a, or something in each pocket, per se. Now, this is the center of our signature. I did not close it up. I just cut it down short. I didn't even do the little things on the end. This is, I did not open the other end of this envelope, nor any of the, not envelope, sack. This is a um, coffee dyed doily that I got online as well. Uh, and I just folded it over just to have some interest. I got enough pockets and I just, I just didn't cut it open. Here's a little bird. Look, at, I got some new stamps for my books. Um, here again, oh, my, here again, it's the other side of that parchment. I just got it in there for texture. This is a, a family is everything. I stamped on the top and my stamp, this is a new stamp. I love the stamp. Uh, a typewriter down here. These are just plain papers. This is the back side of that envelope, the big envelope. And then I just made a little ticket type tag, uh, and stuck in there. This is the other side of the legal size paper that I folded up uh, for a pocket. I, I glued it down with glue, uh, wet glue, on e either side. Put one of Tim Holtz's uh, cards, and then you can write on the back of it. It says, The Story Begins. I stamped this, and this pocket slides in. And then this is an oversized... Uh, clip and I, ooh, I just attached our card with the clip like so. It won't go any further. I don't know why. Uh, you open it. It's just the copy. It just died beautifully. Here's the calligraphy paper or the parchment paper, which it is parchment paper uh, with a little bird stamped on there. There's a, another. Now I did glue this down because there was nothing under it. I'm having my charms. There again, some more uh, staining. I made um, a corner pocket. Oh, the girl's name, I forget her name, and someone told me. This opens up uh, like so, folds down. It's a pocket. I made the flower. I've got some uh, oh, um, cheesecloth underneath for some interest. Got a little. A uh, string bow with a button. Now, this is a download from one of my downloads, and I'm not really sure if it may be the Jane Austen, but I'm not real sure. And it's a writing card. Now, when I printed these off, I just wanted to make sure, and I printed them on cardstock, uh, that they printed the way I wanted. Well, I didn't realize it, but I had turned my paper over and there was stuff on the back. But there again, I like this anyway. And then I cut this with some decorative scissors that I had, which looks torn. But I, co I covered the back of it with some uh, paper to cover up the back, quite frankly. And then you could journal on the back and, and the front. So this is just a little ephemera piece that I had. I've got three of them in here, I believe. And it just fits down in here nicely. There's another sack. And then there again, I just put the doily on it and didn't cut it. Just some stamping up there. Here's another uh, piece of parchment that I made into uh, I made into a pocket, and this is also another uh, art uh, washes away from the soul 
the dust of everyday life, Picasso. And this is just another extra cut off that, uh, that I had. And I had to cut it down a little bit, but that's okay. And then this is just blank for writing or whatever you'd want to do. There's another uh, uh, dusting there. Uh, I, I did go ahead. I love these doilies. And I really do have a hard time with making tuck points out of them. And I know people do, but I just glued it down because I think it looks pretty on the parchment paper. I just stamped this on top. I've done a lot of stamping. There's a little bird again. Now there is another le there's another legal size paper that I glued and made into a pocket. This is an envelope that I got online. I stamped that to correlate with that. And then I made a uh, little holder to uh, cover this up. I got uh, a, a couple tags. In well, I got a tag. And then I got uh, the cut apart where you could, uh, and it, it correlates with the stamp as well. And this just says number one, and you could write on the back. And then I just took a piece of the parchment paper to make a closure to hold it down. Uh, I, I usually do something. I've not done the slits yet, but and that closes it down. And then this is just a little uh, medallion that I put on there. It's kind of shiny. To close it up so that goes in our pocket there now that's our first signature there's two signatures but there's over 100 pages there's the little typewriter with lines uh, to journal in there's a pair of scissors on plane this is one a fold-out pocket that I made and then across the top I put lace and I stained I stained the lace a little bit to make it look old. I made the little flower out of uh, coffee dyed paper and this one I did leave the top open so I could put tags down there and here's a little tag that says uh, art, they're again saying art washes away the, the uh, soul of dust in everyday life and so there's a top loading pocket this is just another side cut uh, as well that you can journal in that I've, I've put down in here and then I just used some uh, some kind of ribbon type, it's a cotton uh, that I had in my stash. And then I uh, uh, stained it. I just run the stain over it. There again, it's another doily uh, with the calligraphy paper. There's frog. There's another uh, decoration. Here's another uh, parchment paper with, with a tag that I coffee dyed. And then I just used some, uh, I had some of this left over, the binding, uh, seam binding. So I just cut that off and made it, put it on the tag. Here is another uh, sack, the antique sack. Here's an envelope with a large, This is a, I've had these a long time. It's a large uh, I don't like paper clip. And this is an envelope. Now this envelope, for some reason, I just told you how I tried to put, I forgot to put something in. So I'll rectify that and put something in that envelope. But I've, uh, oh, wait a minute, this way. And I've used this large, um, well, that's something's not the same. There we go. And then this goes in our sack pocket. Now here's another one of those downloads. Uh, there again, I put it on paper to cover up the back because I say I, I, I do that a lot. I use my paper over sometimes. and uh, But then there again, you can journal on the back. That fits down in your little side pocket here. And this opens up. Uh, I did put design in there, but you can write over that if you want to. Made the... Uh, Made the little flower uh, and with the um, texture behind it. I'm trying to let's see. Okay, now uh, here's the parchment paper with with another doily glued to it, and here is the back part of of the. Uh, no, here's the front part of another legal size paper. I love the way how it come out. This is the uh, envelope again. And then I made a tag and uh, 
just put a flower on it and a little one on the back to cover that up. And then and this says just flying by to say hi. And this fits in here. And I just stamped on that. There's a clear page. Now here's an envelope that I bought online. Oh dear, I, I'm terrible. I apologize. Um, I'll try to correct this and, and, and put this down below. Um, because I don't... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, it's a tattered dream. A tattered dream, I believe, all these things come from. A tattered dream. Oh, I'm just sure that's what it is. Or if not, I'll change it and put it down. But it's an envelope. Uh, it's made out of coffee dyed paper. It has book paper sewn to it. There's a piece back here that you could use. Uh, you could put something in there. I didn't. Uh, I just put... And of course, she made the flower and the button and the whatever uh, with the uh, uh, texture behind it. And then there's a pocket, and I just put a, a tag in there that you could journal on. And it's all ha not, it's all machine sewn around, glued down on three sides. And then, as I say, this you could sneak something in there to hide. <laughs> It'd be fun. Love it. I love it. Uh, here's another piece of parchment paper. It's just for texture. Uh, another plain paper that I dyed. Here's the other side of that um, paper bag. And this is just a file card. This is really funny. This is a file card, and you can barely see the red. Uh, the coffee dyeing washed off all the print. This is a cut apart. I mean, this is a... I, I cut this out with... I was trying out my new uh, dye. And there's a, a decorative side and then this plain side that you put the plain behind the decorative. So I kept it. So I just made a little tab out of it and then I put a, stamped a little flower on it. And as I say, this is uh, this is a card. Uh, it washed all the... But you could certainly journal on it. And it fits very nicely down in the bag. Here is the second center of our signature. And there's where my uh, sewing comes together, and I just cut it off. Uh, you could close this up if you like, like so, make a pocket, but you would cover this up. This is just a, a doily that I got online, and then this is my flower. I made this one. I made a ton of these flowers. It's fun. And this has a doily and then the flower. This is just a plain page. Here's another piece of the uh, texture. This is another envelope from the same gal. I'll accept it's small, and I, I just glued it on three sides and then added a tag that says happiness. Happiness uh, is a journey, not a destination. And then this is just another uh, cutoff that you could open up in journal with a little... Uh, uh, I got this, this these little, um, from scrappydabadoo.com. These little paper clips. They're like Tim Holtz's, but they're colored. And they're small. There's various colors. Scrappadabadoo.com uh, This is another... Um, and here is the same thing. Happiness is a journey, not a destination. Uh, this is another envelope. Uh, and I stamped on here with the ruler and the medallion. And I've got a couple of... Uh, uh, little tags in here and there, but it, cause it kept kind of sliding out, so I put this little clip on them to hold them in there. This, again, is this pocket on the legal size paper, and it has another Tim Holtz, and this is all lined, this is uh, lined, and this is graphic on this side, and I've got them in here with the paper clip to secure them. Uh, this plane, you can journal on that. Here's the calligraphy paper with the bird. Now, this was all this way. I didn't do this. This came that way with the paper. And then here's another doily, secured down, plain paper, calligraphy paper. Here's another sack with a doily that's not cut open for a pocket. You could cut here and make a pocket. I just didn't. So if you'd want to do that. Uh, this there again is the uh, baking paper, and it's got a little tag and whatever. And that kind of, you know... Uh, this, I made this. Uh, this is a little, you could do this. Uh, 
down in there, but uh, I left it hang out with the string, uh, some kind of a tag, and I did get that online as well. So I put them in here. Well, it started kind of, because that paper slick, so what I did, I just there again secured it with a little uh, uh, clip. Plain. I just stamped across the top. Look at that edge. Is that gorgeous? And then here's another doily that you could stamp on there. Uh, and then here is another uh, cutoff with a Tim Holtz um, that you could journal on with a Timmy Holtz paper clip. Those other little paper clips are the same. Now this is an envelope. And it's got a pocket here if you'd want to put if you'd want to put something in it like that. I didn't, but you could because I just glued it on three sides. Uh, and the the flap I folded over the edge of the paper, the edge of the page, glued it down completely, and then stamped it with a little medallion stamp. Now this has the third little. Uh, Oh, um, download that I did uh, there again with you know you could write on the back but it also has the lines where you could write on the front and then I just stamped the envelope now I j these envelopes were all copy dyed and I bought them online uh, but I did go around with them around the edges uh, to enhance them a little bit here's another piece of the legal size paper that makes uh, that makes the um, tuck. This is just a cut apart, cut off of the calligraphy paper just for texture. I just love it. This is a card. Uh, it's got a little something for you. And then I just, uh, and this is another one that when I, when I coffee dyed it, all the, the stripes and everything came off. Uh, so that's just uh, going there for journaling. And then that's plain. And then on the back is the same book cover, the same book paper, the French book paper. And then I made a, a pocket out of this lace. And this is another, oh, I guess this is the fourth one. Uh, the Western Union date received on. And then you could journal on the back. And it just sits down in this little, oh, I love this lace. I just love it. And then there again, I put grommets uh, in big ones. I put large grommets in this time, like so, in the front and in the back. And then, of course, that's what secures it. Now, I I dyed this uh, seam binding with sprays, uh, various sprays, instead of coffee. Now, the charms, I went over them kindly, kind of, <laughs> kindly. Scissors, a pearl, uh, a butterfly, these big balls. I just love them because they lend themselves, I think. And, of course, the the uh, plaque on the front says Journey. I love it. I, I And as I say, it's over 100 pages. Uh, I forget exactly. And that does include the pockets and this and that and everything else. So I wanted to flip through and show it to you. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and it might have inspired you to make one yourself. Uh, but it, it has two signatures that are all hand sewn. And this, when I take these uh, 9 by 12 clasp envelopes, I make a spine. Unless I'm going to do one signature. If I'm going to do one signature, I just fold them in half. I cover up, I cover up the uh, top. I take the metal part out, whatever. But I did two. I knew I was going to do two signatures. So I did... Uh, a half an inch uh, spine. I could have probably made it a little bit bigger, but I think it's fine. I love it. It just, it's soft and it feels good. Uh, and as I say, it will be offered on uh, capturedonpaper.com if you are interested. And again, my name is Gwen. If you look on the, when you go in there and you look on the top, uh, it'll show various uh labels like what's in that section and then there's also a new section that virtually everything is in but this is in the minis and the books and i forget exactly how it's worded but uh, 
As I say, I have several things on there. My name is Gwen. If you have any questions, uh, please leave comments, and um, I will try to answer them or email me at uh, gcaststeel at comcast.net, and I'd be happy to answer. I have another project here that I'm going to, to uh, put on uh, later. I'm not, it's a, um, uh, an album that I made to, uh, to store ATC cards in. So I'm going to do that later because I'm going to offer that as well. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I will be back with another, uh, with another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.